I didn't think the year could go by without Tanya having a look at this incredible school in my lecture at Sunnybank State High School. They obviously turned out great students, but I really wanted Tanya to see what they do in terms of year 13. Uh, when kids leave school, what have, what have you thought, Tanya? Well, Graham, uh, thanks for bringing me here. It's just blown me away. I and mean, this is a school where a few years ago, about half the kids were leaving school um, without a job or further study. And now they've got that down to about 4%. What an incredible achievement. But um, why don't we hear from the staff themselves about how they've managed this fantastic turnaround? So our data at Sunnybank in 2017 for the graduates was very poor. We had 50% of our students who were engaged fully after six months of leaving us. So um, the school decided that we needed to address that and we came up with the Year 13 Sunny Futures program. Yeah, so we have a uh, graduated student who's only been in Australia for I think about four years. Came in year uh, nine. Came in year nine to, to Sunnybank and he um, <laughs> he's, he's just beautiful. He's so uh, switched on with what his dreams and goals were and he was determined to get there and achieve but he didn't know how to get there and he didn't know how to start the journey was the biggest part for him. He came in year nine, he knew one word, which was high. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. And then from year nine, uh, he was in 2014, till year 12, he went through, we all cried, yeah. <laughs> but he knew what he wanted. He, he started a school-based traineeship, but he said, Miss, this isn't what I want to do. So he identified very early on he wanted to do electrical yeah. and we got some mentoring in for him in, in year 12 from um, an electrical company that was an employer but they just did a mentoring program for a year with him and, and two other young boys but he never lost focus and he knew, he, he even did, he did his maths A and he did very well in it which was really difficult because of language but he knew and he never deviated so he had that support in year 12, he had um, some ready for work um, yeah. support as well. He, we put him through his certificate too, yeah. so he got the pre-vocational. He got placement, work placement, which is really important with these programs that the kids are actually in industry. Lots of interview preparation and practicing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he will say to you, I did not know what to do. Yeah. And he may appear really eloquent and able to look like he seems like he might be able to do anything on his own, but he said, I couldn't do it and I didn't know what to do or where to go yeah. or how to ask. Or, yeah. so, and he is just, he's a star. I'm quite a lot there um, contacting us uh, and, and saying that they're really grateful for the belief that we have in their children to start with and to help them on their journeys, but also um, asking if we can support them as well as other siblings, uh, older siblings or, or other family members that haven't been able to, to find their path, find their way. Um, to achieving their goals and dreams as well. They're just saying thank you. They're really grateful because they, they don't know themselves. You know, a lot of them have uh, language barriers or um, cultural differences, backgrounds, mm -hmm. and so they're very grateful. You know, mm -hmm. and this is a safe place for them to come, yeah. and they know that they're not going to be judged and that they're going to be supported.